test test. Oh god, why did I do that so close to my ear? Fuck. <laughs>What's up, everybody? My name is Cody Rattler, and I just upgraded my microphone. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but can you imagine? What's not a joke is the mic. I actually did just upgrade this, and since making the recent upgrade, I've been thinking a lot about how much has changed since I started creating content. We are now in 2023, and come April, I'm going to be celebrating three years as a content creator. I've met a lot of people, made a lot of friends in that time, but I realized that not everybody that's currently supporting even knows how I got started. So I thought it'd be fun to put together a video and explain my story, what got me into content creating, highlight some of the things that have happened since then, catch you up to speed on what I'm doing today and where I'd like to see the channel going. Also, in addition to all those things, I think it'd be really cool to treat this video as sort of a milestone in itself so that a few years down the road, I can look back at this and think, man, I've come even further than this. But before we go any further, you guys knew it was coming. I have to say it. It's not a YouTube video if I don't say it. If you do enjoy today's video, please consider leaving a like. A lot of the views that I'm getting on today's videos are from people who are unsubscribed, which is great because that means I'm extending my reach and I'm getting to new audiences. But uh, yeah, if you happen to be one of those people and you like any of the content that I'm putting out, I'd appreciate if you uh, subscribe. Stick around for some more. All right, it's time to take you guys back to the beginning. Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. <laughs> I'm kidding again. Can you imagine? We're not going that far. I am going to take you back to 2019. Around that time, I had been really big into watching shiny hunting content. So you guys have probably seen it. Anybody out there that is a Pokemon creator that does shiny hunts, there's a lot of big names nowadays, but... I always thought that was cool content. If you know anything about me, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I love Pokemon. I grew up on it. So seeing that kind of content, even just a few years ago, I always kind of idolized it. I thought it was so cool that people can do gaming, things that I like, like shiny hunting, but then have an audience that's supporting and getting excited about it and just having a live chat to engage with. I thought that was so cool. But at the time, I didn't have anything to make that happen for myself. I had no equipment. I had no means to be recording or editing or anything. I didn't have any of the skills that I do today. I just had the desire, the itch to make that happen. Flash forward into 2020 and lo and behold, the pandemic strikes. I'm sure most of you can relate, but I found myself having a lot of free time <laughs> once the pandemic hit. I had already been working from home, but considering how much uh, lockdowns changed things, I really wasn't doing much to go out. I was staying home as much as I possibly could. But again, because of that, I found myself at home with a lot more free time than I normally did up until then. What happened to be really good timing is right around the same time that everybody was experiencing lockdowns, uh, my brother had let me know that he had an extra gaming laptop. I'd been talking about wanting to make videos and he had mentioned having a spare laptop. He had upgraded to a PC, so he pretty much just had this gaming laptop, which was pretty powerful for what it's worth. Uh, it'd been just collecting dust in his room, but he was very gracious enough to allow me to borrow that laptop. So that was like a huge uh, investment save, if you will. I'm sure most of you can agree. Like the, that's the core of being able to do anything, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, Discord, you need a computer, you need something to be able to, to work from. And I had nothing at the time. So going from nothing to a very powerful gaming laptop, uh, I was already off to a good start. Also, to make timing even better. At the same time, my friend Bobby, who had been creating content for a little while at this point, he was actually upgrading his microphone. I was in the need of having a microphone because at this point I just had that laptop. And so uh, he sold me his microphone for a very steep discount. Bobby is the best. He is Bobbylicious on YouTube. The dude is much cooler than I am. So if you don't mind, please take a moment and go subscribe to his channel. Check it out. I actually have the microphone here. Uh, this mic I'd been using since I bought it from Bobby. And if you go to pretty much any content that I've put out, whether it's YouTube or Twitch or 
anything that you see me doing, it's from this mic. Absolutely got the job done. It did everything I needed to, but I've had my eye on this mic for a hot minute and I, I've wanted to make the upgrade for a while now. So um, again, the excitement of finally being able to pull that trigger led me to wanting to put together today's video and kind of talk about how I got started. So I went from having nothing to now suddenly having a gaming laptop and a microphone that I got from a friend's. And then I also had access to a, a USB webcam at the time. So I essentially had everything I needed to get rolling. Once I was able to gather the essentials, uh, I just dove in. What I have on screen here is the first video I ever uploaded to YouTube. And uh, I've got a funny story about how I put this together. And I'll get to in a second, but uh, just for the sake of the milestone, that was April 14th, 2020. So again, we're coming up on three years now that I've been doing the thing. But anyway, uh, what's special about this video, aside from being my first video, is I was so desperate at the time to capture some Animal Crossing because I'm sure you guys played it at the same time that I was playing it when the pandemic hit. But this was like the biggest thing that was sweeping the world, aside from COVID. <laughs> uh, some jokes should be left out. Unfortunately, at the time, I had no means to actually capture the gameplay that I was playing on my Switch. I didn't have a capture card. I just had the laptop, the mic, and the webcam. So in this video, it's kind of hard to tell, but I had taken the tripod that I have for my webcam and I had just pointed my phone directly at my Switch, which was on a tripod. So everything was still, there was no movement aside from my gameplay. And then I was playing with the controller off screen and talking to my camera. Again, camera being my phone for this video, I literally just pointed my phone at my Switch. And what's even funnier about that is this was actually a Facebook Live. I was so like eager to just start hopping on and streaming and just doing something. I don't think I've ever streamed from Facebook Live since then. Yeah, suffice to say, I wouldn't recommend taking this approach unless you're just really desperate like me and you wanted to get some stuff out there. At some point, I did pick up my capture card, which then allowed me to start streaming console games. But yeah, that was the very first video that I uploaded to YouTube, and it was technically a Facebook Live, so it wasn't even really a YouTube video. I'm not even sure if I count this as my first, although to be fair, it really is the first. This was prior to me actually diving into any editing. I just went live on Facebook. Next up on screen, I have the first official YouTube video that I edited. This was the start of my Legend of Zelda Link to the Past playthrough. This was just the vanilla game prior to me even knowing about the randomizer, which in case you didn't know, I'm a huge fan of the randomizer. You can catch me playing it on Twitch if you're interested. But as of this video, I had already had my capture card because we are seeing my Switch here. So I think there is only about a week difference between the Facebook Live video and this first official video. I didn't hesitate to get that capture card. Once the ball started moving, I needed the essentials for what I was trying to do. Something I want to call out here is just how little that I had at the time. The first thing that stands out to me is in this video, I'm filming in my kitchen. I don't even have this set up. Like this doesn't exist. I mean, technically this stuff is here, but I didn't have it set up for streaming. What I'm at right now is my desk, my work area, but I've transformed it to also be where I stream from. So we're not in the kitchen anymore. I also want to point out the headset that I was using was super old. Um, it did the job, but by no means was there any quality behind those headphones. Now I have the HyperX, which my lovely girlfriend had picked me up one Christmas a few Christmases ago. But at some point, if you look at the videos, you could probably see me go from those headphones to these. <laughs> Scrolling back down to my early video era, um, another thing I wanted to call out is I didn't even know the importance of thumbnail sizing. I had no idea that I wasn't sizing these correctly, and I'm only pointing this out to make fun of myself. If you want to join in, have at it. But you can see that some of these thumbnails I have aren't even fit to screen. They're not the right thumbnail proportions, and that happened for quite a while. Like, I don't think I actually caught on to that. Some of them I got right right away, but not all of them. Another quick plug while I'm on my YouTube channel, I do want to say that I've tried to do my best to categorize any of the games that I'm playing. So if you guys happen to be watching this video and you want to go back and check out any of my old content between the early days up until today, even if just to compare to see, you know, the upgrades that I've made over time. Yeah, I've got them all sorted into playlists. So if you want to check out the Legend of Zelda series, it's all there, including some additional streams that I've done more recently on the randomizer. I've also got things like Shadow of the Colossus, Donkey Kong Country, the list goes on. And before anybody says it, no, I haven't completed all of these. There's a handful of these that I stopped halfway through. Uh, if there are any that stand out to you that I didn't complete and you want to harass me to complete it, please let me know because, yeah, I need that fire lit sometimes and it's okay. The next thing I want to point out is lighting. I can't really show you guys with how I have my camera set up right now, but I have massive floodlights 
which uh, shout out to David. He's the one who suggested these to me. I'll have to drop a link down below if you guys want to see a description on any of the things that I'm covering today. I'll link them so you guys can just check out the equipment if you're interested. But the floodlights were a big jump when it just comes to general lighting and not being dimmed in any any sort of way. Looking at these thumbnails, I remember it was right around here, like this video is world five of my Donkey Kong country. You can see I'm pretty well lit in this video, but I'm not well lit up in this video. Like uh, the only lighting that I have at that time is the light that's right above me. So you can see my hats like causing a bunch of shade to block off my face. But then you look over here and boy, we lit. And same thing with the future videos. You can tell my face is a little bit more lit up. So starting from World 5, it seems that's where I had dove into having the better lighting as well. Here's another video that I wanted to pull up for reference. Uh, look at how barren everything looks behind me. I don't have my lights. I don't have the lights behind me. I don't have half the stuff that I have. I've got that badass artwork that I've had fan made. Thank you again, Panda. But you can tell I've put a little bit of love in the setting. Another thing I'll quickly call out here in this shot is I've got my official logo there in the bottom right. I can't remember how long that I've had the logo now, but my good friend Brian had made that for me and I've been using it ever since. Here's a quick video I did that was a Monster Hunter Rise giveaway. It just gives you a little bit more of a, gives you a little bit more of a shot of the room. <laughs> what I'm trying to look for real quick is to see when I started having my official intro video. I don't know at what point I had it, but let me try to find it. Here we go, this video is a good example. So you can tell it's Halloween time because we've got that shit well decorated. It's spooky, okay? I love it. I love Halloween and I love Christmas. Both of those are like the prime time for everything I've got behind me. Anyway, at this point I definitely have my lights, so I've upgraded those. I've got the, the lights in the back as well as the little LED strips on the entertainment center. But what I wanted to show here is the intro video. So as I'm going through this intro, I say my spiel, and then bam, we've got an actual intro video, which I've been using religiously ever since having it. Uh, shout out again to David, same David who uh, recommended these lights. He had created the animations for this video using the logo that my friend Brian had made for me. Separate from those two, my friend Ryan is a music producer, and he created the audio jingle that goes along with the video. So. Uh, don't be afraid to outsource to your friends. If you don't know how to do cool shit, maybe they do. The next portion of my story, uh, flash forward, still within 2020, um, it was actually Black Friday. My brother had been wanting his laptop back. And again, it was the only way I was making content at the time. So of course, wanted to give him his laptop back. It's his, the moment he needs it back, I'm gonna give it back. But it really put me in the position where if I wanted to continue content creating, I had to decide to get myself something. So again, it seems like the theme in today's video is like timing like good timing. Since this was on Black Friday, the day that he took it back, it was also ideal for me to buy myself a PC. So it only took a few days to arrive and then I was able to pick it right back up. So I eventually stepped away from the gaming laptop and I got my own PC, which probably helped uh, finalize the settings. I wasn't chilling in the kitchen or using spare rooms. Also, I'm not gonna go over every single upgrade. I'm not trying to make this a boastful video. I genuinely want this to be uh, just self-reflecting, but also sharing with you guys so you can just feel my excitement. Again, I know the, the mic was the most recent thing, but I thinking about how much has happened within these three years i i just i gotta give it to myself i gotta give it to myself i've kept it up and i'm very proud of where i'm at today as a quick pulse i'm at 262 subscribers on youtube and i am 355 followers on twitch to be fair i've been doing youtube for about a year and then i realized that i wanted to try streaming a little bit more like i was focused on filming videos and editing them and then promoting the videos and just trying to get them out there for people to watch. But it was so much easier for me once I started streaming to just hit that live button and then start interacting. The thing with filming for YouTube is that, especially in the early years, I didn't always have people coming in and commenting. So as fun as it is to edit and you know just put myself out there, it's missing that engagement, or at least it was for me. So that was fulfilled when I moved over to Twitch and I started streaming. More recently, I've also streamed a little bit here and there from YouTube, but it's not quite the same. If you prefer one or the other, then that's cool. I enjoy both. 
I really do like streaming from Twitch and I'm going to continue to do that. That's my main platform at this point. That said, in addition to continuing to schedule my streams like I do nowadays, I want to work on YouTube videos here and there. If you are interested in seeing anything that I've got going on right now, I'm currently in the middle of a Dead Space playthrough for the remake on PS5, one of my favorite games growing up. I'm only a few episodes into that, so you don't have much, too much to catch up on if you wanted to jump into it at this point. Um, but also, I'm going to be looking into starting a Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. I'd recently played that on Twitch, uh, just here and there, mostly played it off stream because I was so into the game that really just any free time I had, I was on the game. <laughs> and I wasn't even streaming it a whole lot as much as playing it offline. Anyway, I would like to do a playthrough just to be able to reach the uh, YouTube side as well. I'm trying to cast my net wider, so again, if you happen to be on YouTube and you also use Twitch, I'd like your support on both. If you're willing, of course. But honestly, whether you're someone that simply watches videos that I put out or you're all the way to the extreme of being a subscriber on Twitch and supporting it that in that way, uh, I very much appreciate everybody who's been a part of my journey so far. Uh, I feel like there's a lot more that I could say in this video, but I don't want it to become like a ramble fest. I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about what it was like for me in the early days not having anything. Uh, I also didn't really touch on the fact that I, I had no editing skills. Um, I used DaVinci Resolve. It's free. Google and YouTube were my best resources when it came to trying to learn more. If there's anything I can suggest for those of you that might be interested in content creating or at least learning how to edit, it would be try to take notes from the larger channels that you like, whether it's a, a shiny hunter, for example, look at their setup, see how their edits look. And then if you're interested in how did you do that specific camera zoom in that moment, then Google it, look it up. I guarantee you there's YouTube videos out there, something that explains how you can edit for a certain effect. Uh, everything that I've been doing now has just been trial and error, and I'm excited to continue to grow and see where else I can take things from here. But I think that's about it for today. So yeah, now we're at the end of the video. It really wasn't anything to do with the mic, but it started because of the mic. So <laughs> thank you again to everybody who's been a part of the journey so far. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below and I will do my best to answer or at least point you in the right direction if there's something I can help out with. Again, social links are all below. If you want to support me anywhere else, I'll drop links for some of the gear that I have in case you're interested to just learn more about what I'm using or what options are out there and available. Again, ask questions if you have them and uh, that that wraps up the video. So until next time, my friends, adios.